Hi Tony, welcome to the Cranford Den. Tell us what's going on in New South Wales hockey. Thanks for your kind welcome, Glenn. Uh, a lot of changes have uh, happened over the last 16 months at uh, Hockey New South Wales. When I first started in this role two years ago, the board identified some improvements uh, that was needed in the business, and we've duly uh, tried to address those over the last 16 months, both from a financial and development sense. So there's some really positive changes happening. We look forward to a, a really bright future over the next three to five years. Tanya, tell us more about the regional coaching coordinators' roles. The regional coaching coordinators were implemented in February this year. Uh, we have seven coaching coordinators throughout the state. Obviously with New South Wales is a real issue with our geographical size. We've had to overcome that and it has been difficult but we think it's been a success. Um, there's going to be um, some minor changes for next year that we want to implement to improve the program but basically we've got the blue tracksuits out in the field trying to grow the game. There is a small percentage that obviously we'd like to assist our high performance with those RCCs but basically we're out there growing the game in the associations and schools as well. I also understand you started a new program, an Athlete Acceleration Program, earlier this year. How's that been performing? Oh, the program's been going exceptionally well. Once again, it's a new program. Um, it's a program for both boys and girls between the age of 15 and 18. It's our high performance tier one athletes in that age group. Uh, we think it's a program that is unheralded anywhere in Australia of its kind. Um, we have worked very hard to um, capture the 19 year olds as well. Um, we're not only um, 15 or 18 year olds, but those 19 year olds, we don't want to lose them from the game. So uh, the people that are involved in putting that program together are of high skill, our coaching director Warren Birmingham and also Richard Willis, who is the program coordinator, have done an exceptional job to deliver the athletes um, a superior program. Yeah, that sounds like there's been a number of changes for the players, uh, but has there been changes on the administrative side as well? There has been a lot of administrative changes, particularly the association reform. Um, that's a reform mandated for February 2015, where um, our association number goes from 53 to 27. Um, we feel that the association structure um, didn't allow for growth. So, Julie, we brought in a reform um, in line with the Australian Sports Commission and Hockey Australia. Um, we're able to implement those changes. Has there been challenges with that program? Yeah, sure, there has been a lot of challenges. Um, it's met with some criticism from the community, but if you look at it from a Hockey New South Wales perspective and a holistic perspective, the fact is that registration hasn't increased for the last five years. So we have identified an issue in our game and it's all about growing the game and growth. So we want to implement a reform that does allow for growth. So. As I said, we, we continue to collaborate and communicate with the community and bring them up to speed and it is duly in the best interest of hockey in New South Wales. It sounds like there's been a lot going on with New South Wales hockey and a lot of hard work being done. But thank you for your time today, Tony. We really appreciate it and, and we welcome you back any time to the Panthers' Den. My ball, balls on deaf ears, the anthem of life.